Hey everyone, this is another video in the Garmin how-to series. I highly recommend checking out the other videos in the series if you want more info on Garmin tips and tricks. Okay, so there are three ways to update your Garmin unit. One, the active captain method, two, the direct SD card method, and three, the Garmin Express method. Today, I'll show you how to use the active captain method, which you can do without a computer and update even out in your boat just with your smartphone alone. If you're interested in the other two methods, check out the links in the description for those, but otherwise, let's jump in. First step is to go into either the Google Play Store or your app store if on iPhone and download the active captain app. I already have it installed, but this is the screen you would click install on, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click open. In order to use the Active Captain Update method, you need to make sure that you have an SD card inserted into the device. Garmin recommends between the sizes of 4 and 32 gigabytes. If you have a GPS map unit, minimum size is 8 gigabytes. You will also need a smart device such as a smartphone or tablet with Android or iOS. From the home screen of your chart plotter, select AV gauges controls. Select Active Captain. Select Wi-Fi on the screen to enable the network or go to the menu and select Wi-Fi setup. Click Wi-Fi network and make sure the Wi-Fi is toggled on here. If you need to change the Wi-Fi name or password, you can do that by following the on-screen prompts on your chart plotter. Within the Active Captain app on your phone, click connect to Garmin Wi-Fi. Your device should search for your Garmin chart plotter. Click the drop down to see the networks. I see Garmin. 8610XSV, I will click on that and go ahead and enter the password. Click connect. If prompted, select connect again. You're now connected to your chart plotter. If your phone or tablet does not allow simultaneous connection with the internet and the chart plotter, disconnect your unit from the chart plotter Wi-Fi so that you can download the latest update. As you can see, I am no longer connected to the Garmin Wi-Fi. I'm now gonna go to My Marine Devices. The app will automatically search for available updates. If an update is available, a blue download button displays at the top of the page. Press the blue download button to continue. The software download is complete, and now we need to reconnect to the Garmin Wi-Fi network. Click Connect. Change the Wi-Fi network. Choose your device from the dropdown. Type in your password, click connect. Click connect again if prompted. Active Captain will automatically begin to transfer the software update to the marine device, which may take a long period of time. If no prompt pops up on your chart plotter when reconnected after downloading the software update, click on software updates on the screen. And if you have a software update that needs to be installed, there'll be a button that says install now. Select yes to start the update. Do not disconnect or power off the device while the update is in progress. When the Active Captain app completes installing the software, the Marine device will prompt for a restart and then everything is updated. To see more Garmin tips and info, click into the playlist on the screen. And until next time, take it easy.